Do y'all like Southern comfort food as much as I do? Well, you're in the right place because I'm getting ready to show you five of my absolute favorite Southern dishes and they're all made in the crock pot. So sit back and relax and enjoy and let me do all the cooking. Come on y'all, let's go. All right, y'all, so for supper tonight, we are making some hamburger steaks in the crock pot. So what you'll need for this, this is my recipe, and I'll try to give you all the measurements I can, <clears throat> but I have two and a quarter pounds right here of 85.15, and then I have one pound of, I think it's 93.7, so it's the extra lean ground beef. And then of course, I got some Medea Complete to season that with, and we're putting in a pack of the onion soup mix into there. Then for the sauce part of it, that these are gonna go in after we brown them in a skillet, you will need one can of French onion soup mix, one can of a beef consomme, and a packet of brown gravy. Now we're also gonna dice up this onion or slice it up and put that in there along with these Baby Bella mushrooms to kind of give it a mushroom and onion gravy. So let's go ahead and get started by mixing this ground beef together. All right, so we have all of our hamburger meat in there. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a generous amount of badia. I am gonna go ahead and throw in some Worcestershire sauce. I know that wasn't in there, but sometimes my brain don't work. <laughs> so that's probably about two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Now we're gonna dump this whole packet of the onion soup mix in there. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a mix together. All right, so when I make my hamburger steaks, I kind of form them into like ovals, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Just different from a hamburger patty, per se. But I just do it just like this. We'll put a dimple in it. That way, when we're frying it, it doesn't lose its shape um, too much. I just always do that. But that's how I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and do all of these, and then I'll be back to show you the next step. All right, so we've got these patted out. I did put up four of them for my son. He did not want his put into the gravy in the crock pot to cook. So we'll just fry his separately. But these seven are gonna go ahead and get seared on up and then we'll get them put in the crock so pot. So in our pan goes a little bit of bacon grease, AKA liquid gold. All right, so these are gonna go in here for a quick sear and then we will get them into the crock pot once we get the gravy and stuff done. That's the one. All right, y'all, so while those patties are frying up, let's put together this gravy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our French onion soup mix in there. And then the whole can of the beef consomme. And then the whole packet of the brown gravy. You can use any brand you want. You can even use the um, store brand of the soups. I typically do, but I did have these. Um, on hand so i just figured i'd go ahead and use those but we are going to go ahead and just whisk this together as best as we can all right so we have our onions in the crock pot we're going to go ahead and just set these hamburger steaks on in there and just remind they are not cooked through they are just seared on both sides they will cook the rest of the way through of course here in the crock pot so you do not have to cook them all the way through. I'm just trying to get this one spaced in there. All right, so on top of these, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our two things of mushrooms. And now we're gonna come on in with the gravy mixture that we put together. We're just gonna pour that all over the top. This is gonna cook on low for four to six hours. We're gonna go ahead and set it for probably five hours since it's one o'clock. It'll be done right in time for supper. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just put our lid on it and get it set to cooking. All right, so to go with the hamburger steaks, I've just diced up some potatoes. They're just the tricolors. We got the purple, red, and then the yellow taters. I'm gonna melt about three tablespoons of butter to go over those. And then we're gonna wrap them in plastic wrap and stick them in the microwave for about 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. Then we'll finish them up in the oven. But to coat them, we're gonna use a beefy onion soup mix and some of this sour cream and onion powder. We'll just 
put all that together, stir it up, and then they'll go into the microwave. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to put some brown beans in a crock pot. I have had these beans soaking overnight. They're just the ham brand beans. They're my favorite. So we've got those soaking. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon to it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's fantastic. Then you've got salt and pepper, of course. We've got some diced onion. I do have some cut up because I love fresh onion over top of my beans. Got a ham hock here. We've got two packs of the Saison Goya. And then, of course... The beans come with this little ham packet flavor. So good, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get everything thrown on into this crock pot. All right, y'all. So we're just gonna go on in with our beans that have soaked overnight. Dump the water and all from that bowl. We are going to add, let me see how much water I got. I like to do like a knuckle over the beans. So I need to add a little bit more. So it's really about an inch over the beans is what I like to put in there. Get those back and let me look. So it is like right there. It's up to my first knuckle, which is perfect. Then we are going to add in our diced up onion. come in with about a tablespoon of that chicken bouillon which I need to get more of we're gonna come in with some pepper I love to season my beans now I know a lot of people don't like to put salt in their beans until after they're cooked but I do add some because I like to have that flavor in my beans as they're cooking we're gonna come in with both packs of that Saison Goya there is the package if you want to find it at the store. This just, oh, don't drop it in there. <laughs> this gives it so much flavor. I absolutely love it. And then we're gonna come in with the ham seasoning. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a stir and then we'll put that ham hock right on in there. And then these are gonna cook on low all day about eight to ten hours um, I'm gonna set mine to nine I should be home by then I get off at four so by that time these should be good to go but I do like to give them a good old stir we're gonna place our frozen ham hock right on in there and like I said we're gonna put that lid on cook that on low for about nine hours even though they have been soaked, I'm still gonna cook them for nine hours on the low. All right, y'all, so I'm home. Here are the beans. They've been on keep warm. Sorry for the jerky, <laughs> but we're just gonna give them a stir. I'm gonna pull that ham hock out of there. We're gonna taste the seasoning on them and see if we need anything else. But man, oh man, are these delicious. And we're just gonna go ahead and make some quick and easy fried taters with some smoked sausage. This is the home smokehouse. It's pecan smoked beef sausage. And then I've got the frozen Southern style hash browns because I'm trying to save some time. It's already five and I need to get dinner ready. So these are gonna be the way we're gonna do it. All right, so when I make my taters, I've got a little bit of butter and some liquid gold in here, AKA bacon grease. And I always like to fry my sausage up a little bit and then I will take it out and add in our taters and let those get nice and crispy. And then I add the sausage back in to where the sausage don't get overcooked. All right, so that has it cooked down enough. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my taters on into this grease and get them fried on up and we'll add the sausage back on in. That was a 32 ounce bag of taters. Now I did wanna say, um, Typically I make like cornbread or something to go with it, but I made homemade rolls and we're just gonna have those rolls with it. 
um, instead of cornbread this time. All right, y'all, so we are making one of our favorites on this very cold morning. We got a little bit like of a dusting of snow out there. So it's about 30 degrees outside and it's not supposed to get, I think above 40 today. So this is gonna be perfect to put in the crock pot and let it cook all day long. So I've got three frozen chicken breasts here. I've got a 15.25 ounce can of black beans, a 15 ounce can of whole kernel corn, and then a 14.5 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes and then a little 10 ounce can of the great value it's just like the rotel but it's the great value brand and then i've got a block of cream cheese that's been just pulled apart because it melts easier that way and then i got a packet of ranch and a packet of mild chili seasoning so let's go ahead and get this put in the crock pot. Right, so we've got our chicken in the crock pot now we're going to add in a 14.5 ounce can of beef broth I'm actually gonna add about half that can in. I'll freeze the rest of that. Then we're gonna come in with our can of black beans. I did not rinse or drain them. I like just adding them in for this. Same for the corn. And the tomatoes. Now the rotel. Now we dump that whole entire packet of chili seasoning over the top and the ranch. And now with this, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of mix that seasoning around just a little bit. And then we will throw those little cream cheese blocks all over it. We'll put our lid on it and let it cook all day on low for eight to 10 hours. You can even do it for four to six on high, just whatever your needs are or whatever your lockings are. All right, y'all, so I'm home from work. This is cooked all day long. And now we're gonna go ahead and just kind of mash up that chicken in there. And then I will bring you back and show you what we got. And I just serve this up with a little bit of sour cream and some tortilla strips or chips or scoops, whatever you want, whatever y'all family's like, just go with it. But we love like crushed up tortilla chips or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed together and then I will bring you back. All right, so here is that chili. See all the corn and the chicken and the black beans and those maters. And there's still a little bit of the cream cheese in there, but that ain't nothing but a thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just serve this on up and have some supper. All right, y'all, so we are getting ready to make my favorite pot roast ever. It's called a three packet pot roast, but I'm gonna add in a fourth packet. Uh, I've never done that before, but why not try it, you know? So I've got some Badia Complete here to season up my roast just a little bit because all the seasoning is gonna come from here, but we got some carrots, we've got an onion, we've got some baby potatoes. I'm just gonna slice these in half and of course the star of the show, a big old chuck roast, which our food line had those on a sale. These are originally $6.99. They're down to $3.99. So this was $20.20 and then it goes down to $11.53. This is when I go and buy my meat. That way you can save a lot of money in today's time. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> so this is what you'll need. Plus your packet of ranch, your packet of Italian, a packet of brown gravy mix. And like I said, I'm throwing in a beefy onion soup mix as well. But this is everything you'll need, plus one cup of water because you've got one roast. All right, so we've got our crock pot sprayed. I'm gonna go in with half of that onion right here on the bottom, just to keep that meat from sitting on the bottom all day. <laughs> Next, we're just gonna come on in with our seasoned chuck roast. 
and I have our carrots and potatoes there. I just love the purple potatoes. They are so pretty. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and dump those right over top of that roast. Now we'll come back in the other pieces of this onion. I'll kind of break this one apart a little bit. All right, so I've got everything whisked into that cup and a quarter of water. We're just gonna go ahead and dump this all over the top and then put that lid on it and it's gonna cook all day. All right, y'all, so I'm home and whoop, fogging y'all up already. Okay, <laughs> now that the fog is cleared, um, there is a roast under there. I know y'all saw me put it in there, right? <laughs> but we've got everything is cooked perfectly and we're just going to serve it up with some of my little homemade rolls that I've made. Um, this is for dinner the other night, but I need to get them used up. So we've got those and then we've got all the veggies right in here with that roast. It's going to be a good supper tonight. Right, y'all so tonight supper we're gonna make some crock pot chili and this is everything you're gonna need so i've got two packs of the chili o seasoning so i've got two pounds of ground beef that i'm gonna be using then you'll need some vegetable juice v8 juice whatever you got this is just the store brand of the v8 juice i use a whole can the large um one pound 12 ounces it's a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes some great northern beans dark red kidney beans black beans and then two cans of chili beans one pack of the beefy onion soup mix one whole onion that's about a medium onion chopped up and then the two pounds of ground beef i just browned it up and added some seasonings to it so now we're going to go ahead and dump everything in to a sprayed crock pot all right so first things first we're going to dump our ground beef in there that whole onion on top of that both packets of the chili o seasoning so like i said i use about a packet a pound of ground beef and this packet of beefy onion soup mix goes on top and now we're just going to dump in all the beans and all the yumminess and when i dump in these beans i don't drain them i just dump them <laughs> it's extra flavor. It helps make the broth of the chili as well. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, also we've got everything added into the crock pot. I'm just gonna carefully give this a stir. That way everything is mixed together and then it'll just cook on low for about eight to 10 hours as long as you need it to and whenever you get home from work or at the end of the day when you're ready for supper it's gonna be ready but y'all this is some of the best chili ever and I used about a half a bottle of that um, V8 juice just to kind of give you an idea but that is it for this chili we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it and let it cook on down all right y'all so I'm home from work we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And everybody wants something different, so I'm not gonna make cornbread with it. I'm just gonna make what anybody else wants. Grilled cheese, or like I said this morning, peanut butter and honey is my favorite, but does this not look delicious? Sorry for the steam but it's so good. So we serve ours up. Oh, I just made a mess. So we serve ours up with um, sour cream and cheese and all that good stuff. So I'll bring it back when it's ready and in the bowl. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today and it gave you some new ideas of some Southern comfort cooking to make in your crock pot this fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below as it really helps out my channel. And if you are in need of prayer, please let me know below and I would be honored to pray for you all. If you are looking for some more meal inspiration, make sure to check out these other two videos that are on your screen right now and think about hitting that red button and becoming part of my YouTube family. 
so you'll never miss another video. Until next time, my friends, God bless. Bye.